What's up guys, it's Paralyzer here. Today we're going to be looking at the official Grounded 1.0 trailer. This was released yesterday and it contains a lot of information about the official release of 1.0 for Grounded. I decided not to use a cam for this video because it's going to cover part of the screen and I want to make sure you can see absolutely everything on the screen. This is going to be the most in-depth video about the subject, so make sure you like if you think that I did a good job and subscribe if you want to see more Grounded content. Okay, so instantly we've already seen that the puncho has been shown. This is obviously the juice cartons that are around the map are uh, puncho juice cartons. So that's what that's referring to on the TV. And then here we have the Billy Hog Nuggets as well. This is another thing that is currently in the map. You run around, you know, you see the giant hot dogs. When you chop them down, you get Billy Hog Nugget chunks. That's what these are that are on the TV right here. 50 cents as well, pretty cheap. Here you can see the trailer says more local teenagers have gone missing. This implies that there's already been teenagers that have gone missing before. Potentially these have also been teenagers that have been shrunk in the backyard. Here we see the mosquito fly out of uh, what looks like the door of the house. And then in, in front of us we can see the giant gnome. This currently isn't in the game, but I did find the exact location where this is going to be in the game. I'll put that up on screen now. As you can see, I've got a screenshot of the pretty much exact location where it's going to be. It's not going to replace uh, the giant toad frog guy. He's further on the left of the screen. That tap on the left there is also brand new. That will be added in, and so will the uh, giant gnome here that says the Tully's on it, which obviously is reference to Wendell Tully, whose back garden we are stuck in. Also in the background here, we can see uh, in the top middle of the screen, Right here, there's a coffee maker in the back. Uh, we can also see there's some more trash bags here. We've got a lawnmower right here. And there is um, a tree stump here, what looks like, and some fallen, uh, another part of a tree bark that's fallen off. There's also something in the background here. It looks like it could be another hedge, potentially, but it's hard to say for certain. Okay, here we can see the uh, Mantis armor. This is something that's been leaked in the past before. The guy on the far right has full Mantis armor on. It is a full set of gear. That means leggings, chestplate, and helmet, as well as the Mantis Scythe, which he is holding in his hands. The, this will presumably all be obtained from killing the Mantis boss. Here we can see a giant scabby, as well as what looks like some candy corn on the left there. This is an item that's currently in the game, but very hard to obtain and very scarce. Okay, so this is our first look at the underground area. This is probably underneath the shed. In the very top left here, you can see there's a Mega Milk Molar. This will be a new Mega Milk Molar that currently isn't in the game, of course. There's also a water droplet up here, as we see the pipes that go across. You can probably walk along these pipes in order to get this Mega Milk Molar. We have the three players here running through the dungeon. We have our player with a torch, player with a mint mallet, and a new set of armor, which we get a better look at later, as well as the Mantis armor that we've already seen. Here we can see a, um, a funny-looking character, actually. This character is probably Dr. Wendell Tully but it could be some of the other missing teenagers that have gone in the backyard. This is because, as you can see, he's very purple looking, which is probably from Muscle Sprouts, and he has sort of these red wraps around his legs and arms. There's a chance that what's happened here is this is Dr. Wendell Tully, and he's tried to use the embiggening cocktail, which currently costs Muscle Sprouts and Berry Leather to craft, but he got the wrong recipe, so when he used it, instead of making himself bigger, he's transformed into a creature. This kind of looks like the creature that you can see statues of in the bee maze up on top of the picnic table. Here we get our first look at the Black Widow Spider. We don't actually know if this is underneath the normal hedge or if it's underneath the new hedge that's been teased. It's probably underneath the new hedge though because it's probably a pretty dangerous spider this. As you can see, we know it's a Black Widow because it is black with the red spots on the back just like a Black Widow has. This has been teased in the past, as Black Widow Spiderlings were in one of the playtest servers accidentally. Here we get another look at the new armour in the game. This is very Viking-like looking armour that looks very furry. It could be very furry because we could be using it when we go under the shed, as it may, there may be a very cold area in the game that might give a freezing effect, similar to how the hot charcoal has a sizzling effect. Here we get a look at a new lab. This is shown in the trailer. We can see a lever on the left, similar to the lever in the Hayes lab that you use to unlock the door. So that lever is probably pulled to unlock a door somewhere else in the lab. We can also see on the whiteboard the design for Taze T, which is pretty cool, honestly. Also, right at the end here as it zooms in, you can see on the far right, 
There is a little piece of lint right there. So it's looking like that these labs are going to have lint inside of them, which is really good because lint is a really hard to find resource at the moment. Here we get our first look at the Mantis. This is most likely a boss in the game. He's very cool looking, very large and very pink as well, which is quite nice. You don't see a lot of pink enemies in the game. Here we get to see a, a really weird attack from the Mantis as well. You can see that um, she kind of has this thing on her back and she shoots these yellow spores out of her out of her back. Um, I don't know what these are going to do. They might ha like debuff the player, similar to when the dust mites shoot their dust clouds at you. It probably has some sort of debuff on the player, though. We can also see the environment here. It's like a new hedge biome with a bunch of pink flowers in it, which is really cool. She also has like this swipe attack, which she's doing. Here in the background, uh, when it's flicking through the words, you can see on the left here, there's a very strange looking uh, enemy. This is actually the enemies from the maze on top of the picnic table that we have statues of. This might be teasing um, at the fact that this is coming to the game, and it might be in the form of Wendell Tully, who we saw earlier in the trailer. There's also a very cool looking castle here on the right. I'm not sure if there's actually going to be a playable area in the game, or if this is just like a uh, cool design that they've put in. Okay, this scene here, we have a lot of enemies, and they're all going towards the players who are up here on top of the log. Some people are speculating that these big spiders and big scarabs are going to be enemies. I don't think they are. I think they've just made them um, accidentally bigger or bigger so that you can actually see them in the trailer. Uh, I don't think these are actually going to be things that are added to the game um, because it just wouldn't make any sense. You can also see in the bottom here there's a diving bell spider. They don't even exist on land. It's just for the sake of the trailer. I'm pretty, pretty sure they're just showing off all of the enemies going towards of the uh, players. Although they didn't add any of the new enemies in here, sadly. Would have been nice to see. Okay, so that's where the trailer ends. But right at the end of the trailer, they do show that the release date for the official 1.0 release is September 2022, which is really cool because that means we know that the game will be out in September, which is amazing because that's only about three months to wait. But that's not all we've been given. We have even more information. The first thing is this here. This was posted on Grounded uh, Obsidian on their official website. It's a big, long article that tells you everything about it. And it has two screenshots. One is of the Mantis. Uh, these players definitely aren't winning this fight. They have no armor. Uh, they have no chance. But this Mantis looks very, very cool. Very nice image. But the more important image here is this second image that we get. This is in the upper backyard. Uh, there's like a giant log that we saw earlier in the trailer here. Uh, we've got some dandelions here, a few mushrooms, you know. We've got the shed over here. I actually did find exactly where this is in the game, and I took a screenshot of it. It's in the upper yard and pretty much the top right of the map, as far as you can go. So I'll show that right now, and I'll also show a little video to show exactly where it is. It's very important, and uh, it looks very cool. Could be a really cool new area to build your base on top of this uh, broken log right here. Right, thank you for watching, guys. I hope that uh, you learned a lot today, and hopefully we will all enjoy Grounded 1.0 when it finally comes out. Uh, yeah, as I said earlier, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you later with another Grounded Challenge video. Yeah, later, guys.